Right, this is a, a recap of what we've done on week one of our basic video course. First thing I'm going to do is open Resolve because I take it you've downloaded it and you've installed it on your computer. I'm just going to find it, Resolve, double click it. Right now it's going to open up. Right, these are my previous projects. Um, I imagine you haven't got any yet, but you will have. You've had lots of projects. You're going to start a new project. So, new project, give it a name. Uh, my project, or whatever you want to call it, create. Right, this is very, very important. This thing, if you hover over here, the one that's selected is got the word cut. We're not, we do not use the cut page. We go along one, hover over the one that's got the, um, the red line going down it. That's the edit page. We always use the edit page, right? Always. You can tell because there's a bar going right along the middle. Like, we don't have that on our page. Right, so if, if this thing with T on is on, that's got a little T on there, you're on the wrong page. So go to edit, click it. See, totally different, totally different. Right, a recap again. Well, this is the media pool, or the media bin. And this is where we drop in all our clips to edit to make our film. And to do that, we'll have to be hovering inside this box. Right, it won't work here, you have to be in this box. Right click, import media. It's got to be import media, nothing else. Click it. Find the media or the films, the clips that we want to use. In my case, it's on the desktop on the footage. So I'm just going to select all of that and open. Sometimes it comes up with this about the frame rate, just change the frame rate. And then in a second or two, like all your little icons should be there. And um, just to remind you how you chop a clip up. Double click on it, click click, now it's here. So you can edit it. There's a little slider along the bottom. So I'm gonna find the beginning of this clip. Where do I want this clip to start? Um, right, just as my hands are going to come in. So, remember, all clips have an in point where it's the clip where your little edit starts, and you have an out point where the edit finishes. So, we, we want it to start there. So, that's going into your clip, in, slide it along, move it to the side. And that's my out point, all for out. And you can see how this little line's got much, much shorter. So I'm going to get that file now, get a hold of it, and drag it down. And as you can see, there it is on the timeline. And if you look, there's two diff this, this file is split into two halves because the top half here. Is the video part this bottom part here is the sound part so that could be sound music sound effects anything upper height here that could be video graphics or photographs anything like that so that's my first edit go for a second edit Pick any one at random double click it so there we have it here I'm just gonna slide this here that's all rubbish Um, well, that looks like a little rubbish, so we don't want that file. That's rubbish. So I'm going to click this one, whatever happens to be. Right, so hands just coming in. In point.
out point. I'm going to get a hold of this and I'm going to put it at the end. And can you see how it's squished at the end? Like what we can do here, right above here, there's a slider with plus and minus on. And we can adjust like the like how much we save this timeline. Obviously, if it's like that, you cannot really work with it. And if it's like that, you cannot work with it because it's really long. So if you just adjust it so it's decent, so I could, that's plenty of room to be working in. So I'm going to get a hold of this, put it down there, and it's going to join together. So we're going to do another one. Double click on here. Go to there. Okay. So in point. Oops. In point. That's enough of that, I think. Out point. I'm just going to drop that on the timeline. And as you can see, we've got a little bit of film going on here. Obviously, it doesn't make any sense because it's in the wrong order. So what we can do, I'm just going to let's go get a bit smaller. So there's all our things. Imagine this thing here. This thing here is in the wrong order. So it's in the wrong place. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to put it out there out of the way. It makes no difference. And I want to, this one here, I want it at the front. I want that one in the middle and that one at the end. So I'm just going to move that one out of the way. Put it out at the beginning. Put that one in the middle. And that one goes to the end. So now, just playing that bit. Obviously, it doesn't make any sense, but imagine your timelines full of little building blocks. You can move them any way you want. Likewise, if you think this edit's not quite right, you can adjust it. To anywhere you like just by moving it from side to side. You can see like the little arrow changes to a funny shape thing at the end. So that's one side and that's the other side. So we can adjust either side. So that's another way of doing what we did up here. And wherever your playhead, this red line is your playhead. Whatever the playhead is, that's what you see here. Right, I hope that's enough for you. Uh, if you get stuck, just send us a message or whatever. Um, this is just a refresher. What I would you like you to do is practice this before next week. Right, if you come next week and you haven't practiced this and we have to go over this again, what's going to happen is people are just going to have to wait and wait and wait. So it's up to you to get up to speed. I want you to do this a hundred times so you can do it so easily, and so quickly that it's, you know what it is. So next week we can talk about transitions, a few special effects, putting titles in, stuff, you know, all the clever stuff, right? But we'll talk about that later. But please, please, please practice, right? <laughs> okay, and don't forget to save it. Right, see you later. Bye.